In today's episode, I'm going to give an update on one previous interview and two upcoming interviews, run some trains on the layout, and unbox and test a PRR GG1 Blackjack. Welcome to Humanity Junction, where the city intersects with humans. Earlier this week, I had a discussion interview with Drew at Nordell MRRC. Drew is a younger member of the community and already has some really great interviews. Please check out our interview as well as the other videos on his channel. A link will be in the description. And coming up, I will be hosting two interviews on my channel. The first interview on my channel will be for Sparky 107107's Meet the Streamer series. On October 7th at 7 p.m. Eastern, I will be interviewing Big Bill from Model Railroading Live in South Brooklyn Railroad. Instead of Big Bill doing the interview for his series, Who's Big Bill Talking To?, this time, he will be sitting on the other side of the table answering all of your questions. The interview will take place on Wednesday, October 7th at 7 p.m. right here on Humanity Junction. The second interview that I will be doing this week will be for Sidetrack Sunday. On October 11th at 8 p.m. Eastern, I will be interviewing Gordy Robinson. Gordy is on the NMRA social media team and also is the NMRA X manager. I look forward to talking to Gordy about how he got into model railroading, when and why he decided to get involved in the NMRA, and what he sees as a way we can grow the community and the NMRA. I want to take a quick moment and recognize the sponsor of my YouTube channel, CMR Products. CMR Products has designed and developed several in-house brands and they manufacture them locally. CMR Products has just released some new scenery details in N-Scale. Please check out their website at the link in the description and use the discount code HUMAN for 7% off their in-house brands. At the end of last week's video, I had a single locomotive running on both tracks. During this week's running session, I built off of last week's successes. The layout videos have been sped up. I started with the same locomotive as last week, my Bachman New York Central NW2 switcher. I had several boxcars on my workbench and started with two to get everything running. I quickly went up to five boxcars and let it run for a few laps. I added a Broadway Limited Imports SD70 Ace locomotive to the outside track and started breaking it in, running it in both directions. I kept having issues on the module with scenery. I've cleaned this section so many times using a lot of different methods and I'm still having problems. You can see the locomotive stutter over this section. I got up to 9 boxcars with the NW2 switcher, but at this point it seemed to be struggling a bit. Moving up to 13 boxcars, I removed the switcher and started using the SD70 Ace. I also started breaking in another locomotive on the outside track. I increased the train on the inside track to 14 boxcars and added a small circus train of 4 heavyweight cars on the outside track. You can still see both trains stuttering on the section with scenery. I really enjoyed seeing the trains making the loop as this finally felt like progress. Next, I added an additional camera to try and get a good close-up shot of the trains running by. I really like looking at the trains at track level. Since this was the first time with the added camera, I kept trying different positions to try and find the best view. After getting the trains running for a bit, I got a notice that a package had been delivered. I ran downstairs to get it. I would like to take a brief moment to thank all of my supporters on both Patreon and those that purchased items from my Teespring store. If you would like to find out more information about supporting this channel, the links are in the description below. A few months ago, I was talking to Ray Bobel. He has several GG1s, but he said that the one he really wanted was the Pennsylvania Railroad Blackjack. After he explained what it was to me, I became enthralled with this locomotive. The PRR GG1 was a class of electric locomotives built for the Pennsylvania Railroad in the northeastern United States. Between 1934 and 1943, General Electric and the PRR's Altoona Works built 139 GG1s. The Pennsylvania Railroad GG1 was built to haul longer passenger trains at high speeds, particularly on the Northeast Quarter and the Main Line. The Northeast Quarter is the train route that I've ridden the most, particularly between New York City and Washington. Constructed in 1943, number 4935 was among the last of the GG1 series to be built. Like most GG1 locomotives, it was transferred to Penn Central Transportation Company when PRR merged into Penn Central in 1968, then to Amtrak when it took over inner-city passenger service in 1971. 
The Pennsylvania Railroad GG1 4935 is a preserved electric locomotive. It is one of two along with PRR 4800 at the Railroad Museum of Pennsylvania. The GG1 is painted in PRR livery of dark Brunswick green, which is two shades off of being pure black, with five golden stripes. The 4935 was nicknamed the Blackjack because if you add up all the numbers from the road number, they equal 21. When I started testing the locomotive on my programming track, I noticed there was wheel slippage. The first thing that I noticed was that one of the traction wheel tires was not on the wheel and it was jammed into the trucks. With the help of the live chat, I pulled off the wheel assembly to try and fix the tire. I learned that the Kata locomotives are very easy to take apart and parts can be ordered off their website. This is the webpage of the Kato USA site that shows how to disassemble the GG1. I'm not sure why, but I also separated the pilot trucks from the driving truck. I noticed a small part inside the shell and dumped it out. I learned that this is the drive shaft. I tried using a toothpick to guide the traction tire back onto the wheel, but the tire was jammed in the truck and I ended up breaking the tire trying to get it back on. To install a new traction tire, I'm going to have to take the drive wheel assembly apart. In this image, you could see what the traction tire looks like on the wheel. In the following image, you could see what the wheel looks like without a traction tire. To put the drive wheel assembly back into the shell, I had to install the drive shaft and make sure it was aligned correctly. Once aligned, everything stepped together very easily. I knew that one of the panographs was broken and I assumed that I would need to replace it. But after taking a closer look, I thought I might be able to get it to snap back together. I noticed that the top part of the panograph wires were held onto the lower half via pins going into some holes. With a bit of manipulation, I was able to get the panograph back together. Next, I put the spring back on the stud and reassembled the pilot wheels. And finally, I got the GG1 back on the test track. I knew one of the traction wheels was missing, but I still wanted to test that everything else was working. While the locomotive was moving, it also seemed to be dragging a bit. After looking a lot closer, I realized that only one set of the drive wheels was working. The set that I had taken apart was working, but the other set was not. After removing the other set of drive wheels, I quickly realized that there was not a drive shaft on this side of the locomotive. I then went on to the Kato USA website to order some parts. I ordered a set of traction tires as well as a universal drive shaft. Luckily, I did not need the panographs as they were $20. For $4 in part and $7 in shipping, I ordered all the parts that I needed to get the GG1 back in top shape. Since I had the programming track set up, I then went through all of my DCC locomotives and added them into the JMRI roster. Thanks so much for watching as it was a lot of fun to get trains running on my layout. Please remember to check out my interview with Drew at Nordell MRRC and subscribe to his channel. Also, I look forward to seeing everybody in the live chat as I interview Big Bill on Wednesday and Gordy on Sunday. Thank you for watching. Please leave any comments or questions below and don't forget to hit the thumbs up. Please subscribe and select the bell icon to receive notifications. Thanks again and have a great day.